Okay, in this exercise we'll be doing a column chart and what you're looking at right now is our uh, finished version of the column chart. The New Century Mutual Fund has uh, or is comprised of a number of different stocks and those stocks are divided into three categories information, services, and manufacturing. So for example in information we've got uh, approximately four percent of our stocks uh, four percent of the mutual fund being held in software companies hardware companies is a little higher media companies about five percent telecom companies about two percent okay so this is uh... let me jump back to the sector weightings this is what the data looks like so i'll highlight from a3 all the way down to c15 I'll go over to insert column and i'll go ahead and choose a 3d column chart here now again i don't want it as an object I want it as a new sheet, call it column chart. Okay, now from here it's just a matter of customizing. We don't need a legend. Uh, we might want to, you know, change uh, one of our styles here. Okay, so that's an option. And you'll notice when you click on the chart, you've got three additional tabs that pop up. Okay, so three additional options. Now over here on the left hand side, uh, we can modify. A bunch of things. Okay, I'll right click down to format axis. Right now it's going up in two percentage point increments. Uh, we can change that so that it's going up every percent. We'll change the major unit there. Okay, we can also uh, change the font size, the font type to make it a little bit easier to read. Okay, in addition, we might want to add data labels as well just as we did in previous exercises okay so a lot of things can be changed after the fact but that's how to create a column chart in Excel 2007